Welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the Below Average Update. We're going to go ahead and call this episode one since I have the new setup and everything going on. So if you see, it says Below Average Update number one. And I have you see, oh, there's another episode called Below Average Update episode one. I'm actually probably going to remove that one or combine it with an overall junction of all the other episodes. So this will be the, the new one. I have this new system update with my um, new camera. I have my new microphone. All sorts of new stuff. New pedestal, all this stuff. And I also got my little setup behind me here. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that gorgeous? Wolverine here looking like a BA. Super excited about that. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Really wanted to show you a couple of the projects I've been working on. I know I've showed you my mask before. You've seen some of the stuff going into that. This, actually one of the things behind me that I wanted to show you real quick. This is the microphone that was used for my original channel, the Sternator. Um, this is broken. Now, it only lasted me about four months, so that's why there's not a lot of videos on that channel. But, yeah, so that's the old one. But, yeah, I actually wanted to show you some other stuff that I've been working on recently, which is my toolbox, which I am so pumped to show you. I've had this old toolbox for a long time. It was actually a um, a sewing box that my great-grandmother was using. When she passed away, I got to take the box home. So I'm, I, I redid some things to it, updated it a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what that is. So let's go ahead and get to the workstation so I can show you how that works. So let's go. So this here is my toolbox. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. This whole box was originally just a gray, plain box. I've weathered it. I've done a couple different things just to make it look old and used. I've added these stickers that I've made to the sides. Um, yeah, I've added my old security tag that I made for my Five Nights at Freddy's thing. And it, it still fully functions. Like, if I open it up, it all works inside. I have all of my stuff. As you can see, I have a lot of Sharpies, as well as um, lead, pencils, all sorts of stuff. I have my Prisma colors, which are really, really good colored pencils. I use those for stuff. I like to do a lot of traditional art, as opposed to um, phys like uh, computer-generated stuff. So I have that. I have some twine here in case my mask breaks, or in case I, I need to do something. This is really good stuff right here. It's an elastic. I use it almost as a fake muscle. It does come apart really easily, as you can see there. I can just pull it apart if I want to get the edge. So I have a little clip holding it in. A um, Mod Podge that I use to seal everything just gives you an extra layer of security, especially when you're starting out with some stuff like this. It's what I use to um, give an extra layer to the stickers that we see on the outside. Fake blood, paint, tape, all sorts of good stuff. This is my um, pastels. It's really difficult to open. I'm still working on something for that. I think there's, if I open it from this side here. I don't want to break anything is the only thing. Okay. Come on. Whoo! <laughs> That's a lot of dust. But there's my pastels. As you can see, they're all old and dirty. But there's that there. That box is something I'm still working on, actually. Um, I completely forgot that I put that in there. But once I saw it, I was like, oh, I should show you this. And it was, like, broken. So all sorts of good stuff going on inside. What I mainly want to show you is the outside. What I love, one of my favorite things in video games and movies is uh, fake or, or non-real corporations and companies. So I wanted to fill this thing all with corporations and companies that don't exist in the real world. The only one that's on here that actually exists is uh, this pink brand sticker here. Not product placement or anything. Just um, I had it and I thought it was great. I thought it was fun. It's um, textured. So it's a little bit different than the other stickers here. So I think it's going to give it some little val a little bit more value um, on these. But yeah, so as you can see, if I can show you some stuff here. Let me just set this up. I have my Fazbear Frights, which is um, from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. No, 3. Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. I was actually This is the first one that I actually made of the stickers. Um, I, I wanted to make sure that I got that in. I, this was right around the time that I was making the um, purple guy suit and costume. So that was one that I wanted. I, I have the security tag for the other Five Nights at Freddy's game, but I wanted the Fazbear Frights on there just because it looked a little bit cleaner. This is art. I, I have to apologize. I don't know who made this artwork, but it's not mine. Um, whenever I searched it, this one came up a thousand times for Fazbear Frights. So I was like, awesome. Really good generic one that people are going to recognize. I also have Combustible Lemons, quote by Cave Johnson from um, Aperture Science. Aperture Innovators of uh, Portal 2. Um, along with that, I have Black Mesa. It's like a Black Mesa recruitment sticker here. It's not one for like their company or their organization or what they do. It's just a recruitment sticker because I want it to be a little different. I have the, the Medics patch here. Up on top, I have Hammer Advanced Weapon Systems, which is um, Iron Man 2. It's actually from the Iron Man comics, but the one that the from the movies that you know it is uh, Iron Man 2 with Justin Hammer. 
Um, I also have Aperture Laboratories up over here. This one down here is the CEDA from uh, Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. This is the corporation that was in charge of containing the virus outbreak. And I got their warning sticker, printed it out, mod podged it, made a sticker out of it, glued it on there, all sorts of stuff. I also have Vault Tech on the side here. Um, I really love that that one just fit perfectly in that spot. I didn't measure it out to fit like that, but it just fit perfectly. So I love the Vault Tech. It's actually peeling up a little bit on the bottom, which I like. I don't know what I want to do to kind of solidify that or if I want to start to scratch it off or anything, just to make it look old. I think I'm going to do that to a lot of the stickers here. As you can see, my, my Hammer um, Advanced Systems Technology, or Advanced uh, Weapon Systems, is actually already fading because I had to iron on this. I, I tried ironing on this patch and actually burnt up some of this red paint that I put on this box. Um, this whole thing was originally like a, a shallow gray color. But yeah, so I, I, I put that and it made it actually ended up wearing out some of the paint on the corner there, which I loved, and it ended up scratching up some of that sticker. There's that I also have Brondo on the side from one of my favorite uh, Comedy Central movies, uh, Idiocracy. Brondo's got electrolytes, for those of you who don't know. And electrolytes are good for everything. So I put that one there uh, just for that. But yeah, you know, I'm really in love with this. I'm trying to find more stickers. I think my next sticker is going to be... Um, Oh, I had the idea. I don't even remember what it was now. But, uh, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm looking for a lot of stuff to go ahead and put on here. I want to do, like, Red Man, Gray Man, uh, Blue Man, all stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so much in love with this case. There's so much more I want to do. I'm actually wanting to take some of this here, or uh, actually a different color or a different fabric material, and um, make straps that hold this closed just so it looks a little bit more official like it needs to stay closed I don't know maybe some other stickers I, I tossed around the idea of putting some real life um, logos on there I had a KFC sticker that I wanted to toss on there just because I love KFC and it's a, a common joke between me and my friends I wanted to put that sticker on here but last minute I decided not to um, just because if I am gonna put a real world sticker I want it to actually add to what's going on here pink is um, a special thing for me and for people who know me, they understand why. But other than that, it's just like an inside thing with me. Um, but yeah, I put that on there again because it adds some texture to it. If I have other stickers that add texture, if you want to send me stickers or stuff like that, I'll most likely just toss it on here. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything on the back. So if it's a sticker that I need, or I feel like I need, but I don't necessarily like the design or logo of it, and I can't find any, and if I change the logo at all, it's going to change the meaning. I, I'll probably put it on the back just because it won't be seen. Um, but yeah, I also have my security tag that I put on here for, um, Freddy's, uh, what is it, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza with, uh, Jeremy Fitzgerald and a code number. If you look at the ID number, I actually put in a subtle, uh, clue to Fazbear. The number, the ID number here for Jeremy Fitzgerald is 00109080070. If you take out all those zeros, it becomes 1987. For everyone who's interested in Five Nights at Freddy's, that's the bite of 87. So that's there. That code's nothing. I'm sure if you scan it, it might bring up something, but I don't know. Um, and then I put the little simplified Freddy logo that I made there. Um, from, an old, from a picture, someone else made a picture. I just um, neutralized the colors, turned all the blacks to reds, put that circle logo around it, put the security up on top. Really easy to make. Um, it's yellow because I wanted it to look a little bit older. And the yellow, if you look close, actually has like stains and things printed into the it's, it itself, which provides more texture. I have this other um, security badge that I made, but when I went to get it laminated, it caused some issues. So I have this one. It's a little bit more colorful, but it, it's a lot of the same things. It's just um, white and red as opposed to yellow and red. still has the security. The logo here is a little bit happier. It looks almost like a, a, any other staff, but this one's more security themed, I think. I want to get this carabiner beaded up a little bit more. Uh, maybe even get a, a silver one. But yeah, so this is my toolbox. I'm in love with it. I worked really hard to make it. Oh, I forgot to show you, I have LexCorp up on top by the handle here. Yeah, um, really good. I really enjoy it. I suggest anyone who's interested in art or interested in building things like this. Like, I'm no expert. I'm just getting started with fabricating things. Um, you saw my mask. It looks a mess. I have my goggles. I have a bunch of little stuff. So I'm kind of just getting started with fabricating some of these items. But if you want to get into it, this thing has saved my life so many times. Just having this ready and knowing where all my stuff is. I'm not an organized person, but this thing right here has made me into a semi-organized person, just getting stuff here. I even normally, I'll keep this memory key, and I just have it out right now because I was transferring some stuff, but I'll normally keep this memory key in uh, in there as well so that I constantly have something that I can save things to. Right now, that has some files um, referencing to TF2 um, if I want to make a poster. It has an Anatomy Park poster that I'm really excited to get printed up 
at Kinko's, and I'm going to frame it, do all sorts of good stuff with that. But yeah, super excited for this. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. So there you have it. That's my new fantastic uh, toolbox. I'm going to be using it for my art box, toolbox, all sorts of stuff. But that is it. Super excited for it. It took a little bit of work to do, but I think it was all completely worth it. Thank you for watching the Below Average Gaming channel. Thank you for checking out the Below Average update. I appreciate you. You the best. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Let me know what you think that I could add on to that box. Let me know if you have any other projects that you'd like to see me work on. I've really been falling in love recently with making things like the mask, like the goggles here somewhere. My goggles here. Um, as well as the box itself. So if you have any cool items or anything that you want to see me make, let me know, um, and I'll see what I can do about making those. Comments below, really good way to communicate with me. All sorts of stuff, good stuff's going to be going on down there. Like, comment, and subscribe. You the best. Bye!